At Two Point Hospital, over 52% of our patients believe they leave healthier than when they arrived. Okay guys, welcome back. This is episode 4 in this Two Point Hospital Let's Play. So we're just getting into it, I'm going to hit play, and we're going to keep going. So we just got our one star, one star hospital, um, and two stars is on its way. We need to get our hospital level to eight, own three buildings, and upgrade two machines. But the health inspector's on his way. So check the leaderboard tab. You can see how I'm doing compared to my friends and rival hospitals. Uh, so is that in here? No. Where's the leaderboard? Well, here's the overview anyway. So my money's doing okay, it's kind of going up and down, up and down, um, but I mean, it looks like it's okay. I'm not really sure what the, the numbers are on there, to be honest, um, but it looks like I'm making 86,000 and then, yeah, I'm making more than I'm spending and that's what matters. So what have we got here? So we've got lightheadedness emergency, seven patients with lightheadedness, yeah, go on then. And then impress the VIP with a nice hospital. Yep, obviously I will, because my hospital is lovely. So who are you? You've got a pan on your head, Pandora. Um, you need a drink. Well, how about what I do? So I get some items. I get a drinks machine in there. Um, and I'll put in some hand sanitizer as well. That's always a good idea have a few bits of hand sanitizer around. There's no doctor in there, which might be an issue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hire another janitor. Um, well, you've got good upgrade. You've got mechanics too. Okay, I'll get you. I do need someone to water the plants, really. Um, I need another doctor to work in here. Let's hire you and chuck you in there. Um, because you need to do that emergency pretty sharpish. Okay, here we go. Get the emergency done. Oh, Sue Casserole. Yep. Lightheadedness. Deluxe clinic. And there you go. So that's one of how many have I got to do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. Yeah, that's quite a lot. And I've only got 70 days left. So. Uh, well, let's let, let's see how we go on that front because I'm not all that um, I'm not I don't believe we'll do it is what I'm trying to say. So what else have we got here? So Pan's Lab, we've got one of them. Cardiology, we haven't got a cardiology unit. Now I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll put in maybe a in like a news agent or something over there. So we'll put the cardiology over here. The jackpot, um, maybe it should be a little bit longer, bit. actually. Yeah, there's this a fair amount of space over here. Um, get a window in Just over like here. I uh, can't get one in there. Um, heart racer or treadmill. Um, sorry, not that. Um, where can I put a nice filing cabinet? So let's flip you around. As I said, I don't find it the easiest, the flipping around, but, you know, put it nice and close next to it. We need lots of filing, three filing cabinets in a row. Um, it's interesting that the cardiology unit doesn't automatically require a weighing scales, but there we are. Big bin in the corner, hand sanitizer by the door. Don't think I need a drinks. <laughs> Drink, drinking fountain right in the uh, cardiology unit. I suppose you might be thirsty after having done a run on the treadmill, but um, I'm sure you can wait until you're outside of the room for that. Um, how are we looking? So let's get some... Got an eye test poster, that's nice. I might get an exercise frame, maybe that'll uh, increase the quality of this room. Lovely. Oh, no, that's not going to be good. So do I have to move it over? Where do I put it then? Do I put it there? Wherever I put it, it doesn't look like it can fit. Can I fit it over here? Ah, oh, there we go. Lovely. Um, what else? What else can I get in here? You know what? They can have another... Let's not change anything. Another one of them. Um, we got a fire extinguisher. got all of them. Well, can't really do anything else in there. It's an okay room. There we go. Okay, so health inspector's still going around. Where is that health inspector? Is it... How do 
gotta find you. Oh, there you are. Oh, right. So you've got a big yellow hat on. Oh, thumbs up. What's his name? Henry Jobsworth. Oh, that's not very nice. I'm sure he's not a Jobsworth. I'm sure he's very good at what he's doing and he has to do it appropriately to, to help, help the hospitals work and run well. So let's get another room in. Um, no, not a room, a set of items. So I want reception. And I am aware that there's some way to put in reception areas. Now, I don't really know how that works and I can't really see it in here. So maybe that's just not come to my game yet. Um, and what I'll do instead is I'll put the news agent in. Um, which way around do I put it? There's nothing really down there, so maybe I put it in this way around so everyone can easily get in and, uh, and buy something at the news agent. Lovely. Okay. Um, what else do we need? So, oh, we probably need a ja an assistant to manage that. So what do, what do you have? Customer service two? Customer service three! Okay, we'll get you in there then. Everyone will be very happy. Um, Right, well, why are you going to the toilet? You've, you've kind of got to be healed. Um, yeah, um, come on. That's not going very well. Um, health inspector's left, so I've now got 11 days to cure the, cure this last person, I think, is it? Uh, in progress two. Okay, there's one in there. So hurry up and cure this one because I've only got eight days. I don't know if they just have to get in the room. Uh, I hired you especially because you were fast, but you've uh, yeah you've not been all that fast on this front. Oh, and you're off to get. Where are you off to now? You're sitting over there, and there's some perfectly good benches over here. But you know what? If that's the way you want to do it, then absolutely fine. Um, my staff seem a bit thirsty. Is that because they can't get to get to their uh, different things in here? Can they get to them? I'm sure they can get in there. All right, can't they? Yeah, there we go. So there you go. Health low. I don't know if I made that. No, I didn't. You're dead. I think. That's a shame. Yeah, you're dead. Health low, estimated cure of chance 80 to 99, but to be honest I was so late on my uh, on my challenge. So what I'll do... Organisation challenges. Compete with other healthcare organisations in a range of time challenges. Earn extra rewards and bragging rights by triumphing over your rivals. Okay, they take place over a number of months. You can compete at the same time as your rivals or at separate times. So maybe let's go with some income challenges. Compete against... Yeah, so I compete against my friends, I play that one, and I can see how I do. Okay, well, I'll keep that away because probably most of my friends don't want me to put their usernames all over the internet, but there we go. What are you doing? I'm walking side to side. Okay, I'm first at the moment in the income challenge, but that's fine. Um, so what I'll do is I will buy another building because I need one, so I'll get that one. Um, and that's lovely. And how do I inspire people to come more? So, monobrow I've discovered, fine. Illness potty mouth discovered. Um, and I cured six of the seven, so I did get some money on reputation, but not not quite as much as I could have done. Let's go to fast speed. Uh, there's 13 days left for you. Uh, I made 73,000 last month. Um, you know what? I could pr What's wrong with you? Yeah, you can get to the machines, you're fine. Okay. Uh, return to work, no, jobs. Staff job assignment, so I can say which people should do what. So for example, Hugh Vape is unqualified in mechanics, but he's all over the, he's all over these ghosts, like nobody. So, okay, that's nice, that's a good idea. Um, and I can just leave them be, leave Hugh Vape, he can have a bit of a rest. Um, what else has got here? Bertie Grotto Consultant. So challenge, earn a 100,000, time limit 90 days. Okay, why not? So we've got a few more guests coming in. Uh, not guests, patients! Test. Uh, I don't think they'd like to think that they, were, that they were guests. So there we go, we've got three people in the queue for GP's office. So 
It's not awful, but I'll tell you what, I'll put in another GP's office down here. Um, I'll make it slightly bigger. Maybe I'll make it 4x4, four four, actually. I'm feeling very, uh, very kind, because that takes up the prestige level very quickly, and that'll help me get my hospital up to a higher... Higher level, because I need to get to level 8, don't I? So, let's see. So, the office desk. It looks tiny when you make the room this big. Um, but I'll still just put it not too, not completely in the corner. Because it's nice to have it a little bit further out. And there we go. Can I fit another one back there, or does it clash? No, I can fit another one. Lovely. Um, and I can get a weighing scales just by the door. They always seem to be by the door in doctor's surgeries. Um, big bin in the corner. Um, I don't re really know whether you need the fire extinguishers, but, you know, maybe it's good for safety. Nice hand sanitizer. Um, get a bookcase in, because these guys need to learn. Or, well, I suppose they should already know. So I'll move this forwards a little bit, and maybe I can fit a bookcase behind the desk, that'll look nice, won't it? Uh, there we go, that's lovely. So that fit in nicely there. Um, and then, as always, a couple plants, just to brighten up the room a little bit. Um, you can never have too many plants, I'd say. And there we go, a couple lightheadedness posters, remind you what you're doing. So what I have found out, apparently there's a way that you can pick up rooms and uh, copy and paste them to another location, so I'm going to have to have a look at that. What I'd really like is a rug, but unfortunately I can't, yeah, I can't afford it right now. But what I will do is I'm going to buy another one of those, I saw a poster, let's get a food pyramid poster, yeah, it's quite cheap on the kudosh. And we'll get a few of them in the room. Um, and that, that'll do it nicely. I've got it up to a level 4 prestige room. Um, still looks a bit odd. Um, oh, end of year! Two point county healthcare award ceremony! Right, let's open them all. So I got doctor of the year, nurse of the year, employer of the year, most prestigious hospital, assistant of the year, and patient's choice award. Okay, fine. I don't really know what they give me, to be honest. Um, so, I, I don't... Yeah, I'm not sure if it's that useful or, or, or what, but, you know, I suppose it's always a good thing. So, people have got low energy. What, what's that? The assistant. So, I've only got two assistants. Maybe I get another assistant, and that's going to help kind of alleviate some of the pain. So, hire assistant. Um, you're quite good, so I'll hire you. There you go. What's here? Bertie Grotto. Well done. We successfully completed the request. So I earned 100,000 in the time you wanted, and that gives him some happiness and a bit of kudosh. Well, that's nice. It's always nice to keep my uh, my people happy. So what do I need to do? Upgrade two more machines now. So how do I know which ones are upgradable? So you can upgrade the Deluxo Lux. Um, and have I got any more upgrades? No, so maybe I need to buy another machine um, in order that I can actually go about, you know, the process of upgrading it. I keep on hearing a little noise. Is that what's down here? There we go. Okay. Oh, I like to get it up to green, but it's just a lot of money, really, isn't it? So off we go. So maybe what I do is I've got the pans lab and the... Is this extractor pan one? And this is the... Drug mixer too, so maybe I get another pharmacy because pharmacies are relatively useful. Um, and I'll put one in over here. I'll make it four by four, which is again bigger than necessary, but it just makes the room a bit nicer, doesn't it? Uh, a couple windows in there just keeps the keeps the room looking looking nice, keeps the light in. Um, I'll tell you what, this hospital has a hell of a lot of files. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what they're keeping in all the filing cabinets, but it's really, uh, you know, there's walls and walls of filing cabinets around here. So I presume they're keeping records. It's 
like the back to your like hospitals in real life. They just keep the records in paper form, and then they can, you can never get them when you go to your other to another hospital or another doctor. You have to get them, send them over by by post or by fax in uh, this crazy world that we live in. So what we'll do is, so that's all lovely. Is there anything else I can put in here? Maybe, uh, well, I can't afford pretty much any of that other stuff. So what I will do is, I've got a couple of plants in. Um, I, I thought I was going to be able to put the bookcase in, but it looks like the bookcase isn't available for this room. Um, so what I've noticed is, the... Oh no, the posters, the posters do improve prestige. I thought I was going to say the posters don't improve prestige at all and actually it's just the, um, it's just like some of the more useful items that do. But, um, it's so green in here. Look at all the plants, lovely. Oh, surely I can get that up, up to a higher level. You know, put a poster behind there. Lovely. Three posters. There we go, level four prestige. It's lovely. So I've done that, and now it's time to upgrade it. So hopefully the lovely janitors will be over shortly. Looks like I need a larger ward as well, because they're always quite full. Um, there's two people in the queue, so that's okay, but you know, you don't really want the queue um, on the ward, do you? So what we'll do is we'll put the room in there. Uh, it's level two already, which is good. So I'll put the door there. Um, as always, you know, I've got to make sure the windows are in. Um, and then beds. So how can we make this fit? So I can put beds along there and along that wall. Um, and there we go. Oh, did you hear that? She said patients should feel less sick and more cured while the inspector visits. And that's, that's fair enough. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's not always up to them, is it? If my staff aren't pulling out all the stops to cure them. So I've got to make sure I push that on my staff and make sure they're actually doing the work they're supposed to do. Uh, they get paid well enough for it, so it's probably not the best layout, this uh, this this um, ward. But what we'll do is we'll make sure everyone has a locker and that will make sure that everyone can store their stuff not that you ever see anyone interact with any of the uh, any of the extra items you put in the room, as far as I can tell, anyway. Um, we'll put some files in the corner. Um, let's see if we can get it up to a level 4 prestige. Um, so that's going to take us to level 4. We might even be able to push it up to a level 5 with a, with a whole bunch of stuff that we can throw in here. Um, so there we go. Probably need a bin over there keep some hand sanitizer, keeps the room nice and clean. Um, drinking fountain in there is probably not a bad idea. So what we'll do is we'll put a couple plants there, a couple yuccas in there, um, and then maybe a couple more plants in to keep it nice. So it's definitely a very solid level four. Um, all we need now is a few posters above the beds. Um, and then maybe an eye test poster over here. Um, we don't really want to put them on the windows, do we? So we'll just sneak them in here. Um, and that's lovely. Whoa, there we go! Dear hospital administrator, two-star hospital. Congratulations, your hospital has been awarded a two-star rating by the Two Point Health Ministry. Your organization's lifespan continues to eclipse even the most daring predictions from our office wager. As you grow larger and procure new plates that require spinning, the inevitable cash draws nearer and nearer. Best not to think about it. Oh, not the cash, the crash. Oh, okay, the crash of those plates that I'm spinning. So I've unlocked Extractor Pan 2, which is good, so I can do some more upgrades on those. Uh, I've got a bit of bonus, $20,000, um, and kudosh of 150. So what I'm gonna do um, we're going to leave the episode here for now, um, we're going to take it up next time and let's decide, I, I think we'll probably go to the new map next time, so how about we open the map and have a look at that new hospital. So there we are, lower bullocks, two stars, two years, five months, there's our old hospital, two years, seven months, we got to three stars, so a bit slower on this one. 
And uh, yeah, that's our next option. Looks like they're still building a hospital down here. So we've got here, what have we got? Flottering. Learn about staff development and training. Okay, so it's still a little bit more of an extended bit of a tutorial. They still haven't kind of unlocked a lot of the things, so you can't really get into it quite yet. But what we'll do is we'll leave it here for now. Next time, we'll pick up on fluttering and learn about the staff development and training. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.